dam. Woo! What about when we go like this? Can you see it then? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Let's light this baby up, boys. Why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves real quick? <laughs> All right. I'm Rich Lofton, Valdez, Alaska resident, adventure man, into doing all kinds of outdoor <laughs> activities. And uh, here we're promoting the Valdez uh, Bike Bash. And uh, it's all about fat bikes, winter, and good times. Yeah, uh, Nate Smith with 907 Snowcat uh, here in Valdez. And uh, same thing, adventurous and just like to have a good time. Thank you guys so much for joining me on a hot sauce challenge. Hot ones, hot sauce challenge should be oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. interesting. Woo! All right. Well, why don't we go ahead with hot sauce number one, the classic. While you guys talk a little bit about Valdez, Alaska life. So living yeah. in Valdez, it's a small little town, about 3,800 people. We're out in the middle of nowhere, really remote. And, uh, Live at the base of the mountains, right on the ocean. Don't get much better than that. For sure, yeah. Looking at some of the photos that you guys post, I'm just absolutely blown away. And after having been there uh, for a Bike Bash 2020, yeah, I was ready to just sell all my stuff and just live in a van out there in a parking lot somewhere. I don't even care. Oh Go man, you would change your mind if you tried that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true so what do you think about classic it's got kind of a fine flavor it's not too hot it's kind of just right really go good on eggs in the morning for sure yeah yeah uh, not bad a little bit of little bit of zip as, as rich was alluding to and uh i think anybody can eat this hot sauce four thousand stepping it up you know uh, here in valdez we average about 150 to 350 inches a year of snow in town and in our past 23 miles away we average anywhere from 500 to 800 inches of snow every year they uh Is it true that valdez gets the most snow in uh of all the cities in alaska or in north america in north america, north in america. North america. We are dubbed the Swiss Alps of the United States. You think that's because of the sound? It is because it's the way the coastal region is built and the clouds come in and stack against the mountains and it's a real wet region. Cheers, Cheers. brother. And uh, <laughs> yeah, stacks up, rains a lot in the summer, but boy, we love it when it snows in the winter. Mm. That's, that's actually good. got a really nice that's flavor. Right. Yeah, easy, easy to handle. These, these first ones here are gonna trick us. It's just gonna lull us into complacency. We're gonna be like, oh yeah, this is this is easy. So that's how you got involved with bikes, right? From motocross, speaking of. Yeah, well, I've always actually, as a kid, rode bicycles since I was able to walk. And then that got into motorcycles. So it's been bicycles and motorcycles pretty much, yeah, my whole life. Uh, for myself, a lot of a lot of biking and then kind of uh, snowboarding and skiing and uh, really kind of moved here and got into snow machining, then just kind of doing the snow catting, you know, and, and guiding people around. It's just it's a really fun place to live and we really enjoy it. Nice. Going for a big wing on this one. Hold on, Nate. I think I'm going to roll. And go. I'm going double sided on this one. Um, tell me a little bit about like uh, search and rescue stuff. As a matter of fact, I seem to recall that while we were out there, a local had gotten his snow machine fall into a crevasse. So it is fairly dangerous. And this crevasse happened to be somewhere close to where we were hanging out for the cross country race, wasn't it? Correct. Here in the middle of the mountains, when you take an aerial view, you'll see uh, there's glaciers everywhere around here. So as adventure, uh, enthusiasts, we adventure out into the back country of Alaska regularly. And in the winter time, that includes you know, traversing across glaciers. It's a real tricky business, super dangerous. Like you pointed out, uh, there's crevices that you can fall into and, you know, anywhere from 10 feet deep to a thousand feet deep. Uh, most of us are real hardcore about getting the training. So you know what you're doing, you know about rescues, you know about the rescue team. You've got devices with you that you can call in the rescue party and, um, 
And number one is you never want to travel alone, right? So that was kind of what that individual was doing. He was traveling alone. He got himself into a predicament and, you know, lost his machine into a crevice. Thankfully, he had been able to get away from it before it went down in there. Yeah. And so that's when, you know, the rescue team after a couple days, you know, two days really of uh, him not reporting back to his brother, another local. You know, yeah. Once again, we're all trained and versed in backcountry adventures. So, you know, he called in the dogs and everybody went in, started looking to see if they could find the, the individual. So let's see here. What's next? Tomasa is next. Is that right? Oh, man. Yeah, he's mixed yeah, up. Oh, no. Fight. My bad. I, I got two mixed up for you. All right. It's Hello. like the flavor of a really good taco in a bottle. Please. Give this one a little try. <laughs> mm. Now, this is vegan and gluten free, by the way. <laughs> good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I think we jumped up uh, the Stobo scale a little bit here. I think we might have some false uh, false misrepresentation from the company here because... You think it's hotter than barbacoa? I double-sided that and it was pretty delicious. And then this tomato, whoo, I'm telling you. <laughs> um, mouth, mouth's kind of tingling. I would like to know why snow machine versus snowmobile? For some reason, when the state of Alaska started putting license plates, which is actually just a, a little sticker that goes on the on the machine, when they started issuing those for snowmobiles, they printed on those license plate snow machine. And so and I think from it. that point forward, all Alaskans kind of glommed on to snow machine. And now when you start talking snowmobile to an Alaskan, it's damn near fighting words. <laughs> I did have a chance to uh, explain to Rich that this could ruin your day. I just have to go down to the port down there in the icy cold water and dive in mouth first. <laughs> the way the way that you do. Wings. <laughs> <laughs> So while you guys are doing that, I would like you to explain that gram. So the Loft and Rides Instagram account, I started when I got an ambassadorship for KTM Bike Industries, which is what that fat bike I'm rolling on there, KTM Bike Industries Fat Rat. Then kind of moved on to uh, iRocker Paddleboards, gave me an ambassadorship. So I was trying to promote those. And then it kind of rolled into people, you know, commenting and, and talking to me from all over the world about what I'm doing and the beauty of Alaska. And so the account kind of morphed into a uh, an inspirational feed. And sure. it is doing very well. I have inspired lots and lots of people to buy bicycles, buy paddle boards, to get out there and enjoy what the world has and find the treasures. And where is this? Using the snowcat, we mobilized the uh, mountain bikes, the fat tire bikes, up to a mountain uh, that uh, we're developing into a boutique resort, uh, East Peak Resort, just outside of uh, the city of Valdez. And this is going to be uh, the location for the um, Extreme Downhill Race on Sunday, right? Correct, yes. Yep. 2022. A great, a great view, uh, good times, good people, and you have the whole mountain to yourself to just tear it up. Bringing the heat, boy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That heat's starting to pick up, right? I can feel this one ramping up already. <laughs> it's a sneaky one. Ooh. I don't know how you say it. They kind of they just kind of start a little bit low as a simmer, and then all of a sudden, uh, yeah. kick right in. I just... Uh, for full disclosure, we're not just putting a little drop. You know, each of us are lining up a good slather of it. So uh, that's the way to do it. I love hotter, it. Uh, love burns. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it that it still is super hot, but there is there are still other elements that I can get. And it's tasty. It is. Yeah. Have you guys ever made your own fermented hot sauce before? Hey, we live in Alaska. Uh, 
<laughs> no. Even more reason to have hot sauce around, you know, those cold winter nights. <laughs> Get some yeah. hot sauce. <laughs> I think the top of my head's starting to sweat. <laughs> Just remember, be careful around your eyes. Or the bomb. The bomb. And we're going to do this in segments, right? <laughs> like, come yeah. on, we come back and do the last two more. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. It's got a good taste. Oh. oh. <laughs> Great flavor, but oh dude. Woo! This one to me is almost like a little yeah, it's like it reminds me of pepper spray in my mouth. Like I just I've never had pepper spray in my mouth before, but it reminds me of what I would imagine it would be. There's two things are happening right now on the top of my head. Either my hair, I can feel it growing, <laughs> or uh, I'm losing it on the top of my head. I don't know, let me know. <laughs> it's sizzling, it's sizzling. Maybe your son got you with that uh, that flamethrower. <laughs> you just weren't looking. <laughs> Hot damn. Scorpion Disco. I like the way they give him like really like cutesy names too. Yeah, sounds like a great time. Right? Okay. Okay. So this thing here that um, we showed when we showed the video earlier, can you explain what this is and, and what they're used for and all of that good stuff? Sure. So this is a, a 2000 uh, a Piston Bully 300 Snowcat. Uh, we put uh -huh. a 12-passenger uh, cabin on the back of it. And uh, I like how you're asking me questions after my mouth is just totally on fire, trying to trying to answer for some of these. Um, <laughs> oh, you want my bank account me. number? Sure, I'll just give you my bank account number while we're at it, too. <laughs> uh, but you can... <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, no, we use that and facilitate, uh, we facilitate fun in the mountains, right? I run a business, but, but really for me, it's it's about uh, showing people a good time. I watch people get better throughout the day and, and that's rewarding to me, right? Um, I say, you know, come come with your skills and uh, we'll see if, if maybe we can, uh, we can become a better rider by the end of the day. But to, yeah, the machine itself, uh, beautiful machine. Uh, Casbor makes a great machine and um, yeah. I, I, I'm trying to think of other things to say, but uh, the hot sauce is influencing uh, my ability to think right now. I'll be quite <laughs> honest with you. So you um, use the snow cat machine to um, bring skiers up in, in lieu of a lift, really. And uh, is the snow cat um, also something that you use to pack down the snow to make uh, to make sort of snow roads? Is sure, that think about it just like a bulldozer on snow. Right, gotcha. and so I have the big blade on the front, and uh, we use that to, to actually build the road. Usually, it takes about I don't know anywhere from a, a week, uh, you know, in it, you know, to, to build five to seven miles of snowcat road, um, as we say, buffed out and, and ready to go. Nice. And is that is that on flat ground, brother? That is not on flat ground. It takes quite a while to get up there. Uh, um, it, yeah, all the way around. Dude. This stuff is, is so hot. I, I'll be telling you. So uh, part of my nose went back down into my mouth. So now I'm breathing a little bit of fire. And if I'm stuttering, that's really not uh, typical. But <laughs> so it's a tradition on the show to put another, to put an extra dab. So this is now we're on the last one. Wait, wait, wait. Scorpion, you, you, didn't, the scorpion, you, you guys didn't, didn't eat your scorpion disco yeah. already? No, yeah. No, 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 no. Catch up. Yeah. Yeah. Back to back, even disco. better. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little one wing for Nash. I brought one with no sauce on it if he wanted it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, um, so for the last Hello. Yeah. <laughs> for the last one you actually get to put a little extra on. <laughs> what? So yeah, that's the <laughs> that's the you know, that's here, that's I that's always true. knew women were crazy. Maybe because my mouth is already numb. Doesn't seem quite as bad, but the, the, the bomb. Maybe, maybe I'm a, 
I think the bomb was a little hotter than the Scorpion Disco. This is hot. So you gotta, yep, put a little... A little, little shake little, weight action. A little <laughs> extra on there. Oh. Oh, brother. I guess it's go big or go home with this one, huh? Yep. 600,000 to 2 million here. Okay. Where's the bed? All right, so that's just... Full disclosure, I'm not. Nice. Not oh out. man, you're making me feel guilty. All right. Yeah, it's not. I got it. I got it on mine. Cheers. I got it on mine. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Oh, this one's got some some uh, some flavor. Mmm. The last dab. This one lights it up right out of the hole. Oh boy. Oh, that's delicious. It does have some good flavor. It does. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You hear that? I think the fire trucks are coming. <laughs> Five on one fire right here. <laughs> Don't make me laugh because then I have to breathe. Oh, man. <laughs> Woo! Now I feel it in my spine. It's kind of like that. Right? It's coming down my back. I think it's, I think I got steam coming out of my ears. You do. Ooh. You do. I can see it. Oh. Uh, so I think this is gonna be the one that catches up to you a little bit further. I can feel like the side of my face, a little bit the lips there, but oh, I think that beverage just washed down a little bit that was left in my mouth. Right? Ooh. I don't think I can talk anymore. Oh my God. All right. Where are you? Where so are you? We're up, we're up just above uh, the Civic Center in Valdez with an overlook that overlooks uh, the Port of Valdez as well as the mountains uh, to the north of us. We've got a right. 270 degree view right here that we're looking out over the Port of Valdez with chug boats. Uh, wow. Around, clouds over the mountains uh, behind us. We've got town and houses we can see, mountains with clouds. And out to the left, we see what we like to refer to around here as a sucker hole starting to open up. A little bit of sunshine. Looks oh. like it's right out over the glacier. Woo! Very nice. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me on this. Uh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Anytime we can torture ourselves at your pleasure <laughs> um, and, and lead to other people laughing at us, I, and not a problem. I, I really like it. I. Uh, I think it's about time for Nate to give us a little display of uh, how hot we really feel this was. Yeah. Yes. All right, Nate, let's get some. Show get us some how it's done. Here. I'm going to reach in. Woo! Nate here is going to show us what he thinks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the mouth looks like. Feel like. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you a little, oops, I'm going to give you a little flip so you can kind of see. I'm going to do a walk around. Nate can keep up if he wants to. A little standing. Beautiful. Here's where we're at. Up in this lookout, looking out over. Rainy day today. Rainy day. We got the fat bikes out. Yeah, Why I love it. Mate? Did you guys really make that thing? Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, Nate, where you at here? All right, buddy. <laughs> nice.